are y'all doing? Yeah. It's a good answer. Good answer. It's a win for all of us, right? I, I feel you. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Lee Massey. I'm Assistant Commissioner with uh, FDLE. And on behalf of Commissioner Glass, I want to express our appreciation for you all showing up today. Obviously, we're here to discuss uh, the arrest of Regina Hill. I'm going to give a brief overview of some of the information, and then I'm going to turn it over to Special Agent in Charge, John Vecchio. Um, <clears throat> Mrs. Hill effectively betrayed the trust of her community by taking advantage of a 96-year-old elderly citizen, which is one of the most vulnerable in that community. A victim who was the last of her family in the area was manipulated and lied to. Her finances and personal information misused and abused for Hill's personal benefit. Obviously extremely tragic. This investigation was very exhaustive, required countless hours of witness interviews, document analysis, which we all know is very time consuming, and investigative methods on top of those to complete. I want to now turn this, case, this uh, press conference over to Sack Vecchio, who's going to talk about the charges and then some of the details of the investigation. But before John comes up here, I do want to let you know the case is still active. Uh, we're still responding to, to inquiries um, about issues. So he's going to be limited on what he can answer. And I want to sort of lay that out to you guys before he comes up. But with that being said, I'm going to turn it over to Sack Vecchio to give you some of the details. John? Good afternoon. My name is John Vecchio. I'm the special agent in charge for the FDLE Orlando region. Today, FDLE arrested Orlando City Commissioner Regina Hill on the charges of three counts of exploitation of an elderly, elderly person, one count of scheme to defraud, two counts of fraudulent use of personal identification information, and one count of mortgage fraud greater than $100,000. Hill took advantage of one of the community's most vulnerable citizens and one of her constituents by obtaining and later using the victim's personal information and financial funds for her own benefit. This investigation began in February of 2023 when the Florida Attorney General's Office contacted FDLE about a criminal complaint against Hill. The complaint alleged that Hill was taking advantage of an elderly, elderly resident who lived alone in a home that was in disrepair. Agents discovered that Hill used her influence over the victim to fraudulently obtain a power of attorney. From there, Hill criminally used the victim's personal information to purchase a home in the victim's name. Hill repeatedly used the victim's finances to purchase rental cars, hotel stays, personal luxury items such as, such as expensive bottles of perfume from high-end retailers, clothing, and paying her own personal bills. Hill moved into a vacant home that the victim had inherited from her family and then used the victim's personal finances to pay for renovations on that home while the victim's primary residence where she lived remained in disrepair. Hill's crimes cost the victim more than $100,000. This was a complex investigation, involved a thorough review and analysis of several years of financial records. We located many witnesses, and we interviewed them, and we did that to identify the full extent and the evidence of the exploitation that had taken place over the years. I want to thank the FDLE agents who are behind me, the investigative team, as well as our partners at the Ninth Judicial Circuit and the Office of Statewide Prosecution for their dedication and countless hours of investigative work to, that result in this arrest. This case does remain active and ongoing. We are aware that this uh, resident, uh, that Ms. Hill became aware of this resident because of her position as a city commissioner, and that because of that, she was able to, to lend what appeared to be some benefit services that then turned into these, these acts that we discussed. To follow up, used her position as a city commissioner to her own advantage personally? At, at some point, yes. The, 
when, so we have the arrest today. There will be further taskings from the prosecution that will follow up based on what we've come. There's always follow-up um, interviews to be done as we move forward. Um, we're not sure where that will go, so that's why we say it's still active, because we don't know what will come out of today. I'm sorry, ma'am? We don't anticipate that today. I'm sorry? No, ma'am. We are not aware today of other victims. Um, however, it is ongoing, but we have no we have no evidence today of other victims as of not right now. What we can speak about and what we know from the interviews and what we're allowed to say today is that the victim in this case was not aware of how much she had signed over to Commissioner Hill. When or how did she become aware of the situation? Through our investigation and through interviews and through information we received as we continued to uncover uh, some of the legal documents that had been filed and some of the other uh, financial documents through discussions with her, we, we were able to determine what she knew and what she didn't know, and some of the facts that we know now, she was unaware of. Probably not right now. Comparing what you have found here in this investigation to other investigations that you've done involving city or county leaders, how does this stack up? Well, what you found out? Well, let's talk about this. The, the charges today have to do with her acting as a citizen, not in her official capacity. So we, we need to stay focused on these crimes. She's charged because of what she did as a person. So, so, the, so, the, so the nexus there is she found out about this woman through her position with the city, but it's your belief that this is stuff she did not as a city commissioner, but as a, as just a, a, a person in the city. That is correct. Again, I'm not about how I can say this. From when we found out about this complaint, was, which was February of 2023, we're talking about 13 months of investigation. That's a lot of work. It's a lot of time. It was hundreds of hours. It involved a lot of people that you see here looking through financial documents and interviewing people, and that we did not get here by taking this lightly or by doing it without looking through everything thoroughly and making sure that we had everything lined up correctly before we move forward. Last question. Was she cooperative in the investigation? Um, we, uh, we did not um, have many interactions with her during the investigation. Can I get one more comment from you? Mm -hmm. Sure. Step up. As, as somebody who's been in a, you know, law enforcement a long time, public service for a long time, just the whole, I mean, while we're saying that it happened in personal capacity, clearly she's a public figure. Talk about how that makes you feel as far as the level of the Well, <clears throat> it's, it's not for any of us to speculate, right, what, what somebody's mindset is. We just follow the facts. Um, Regina Hill was a city commissioner. As Sac Vecchio explained, the actions that were taken that resulted in the criminal charges are a result of Regina Hill being a member of the, of the community. Uh, so I'm not going to speculate to anybody taking advantage of a position based on, on where they sit or what their job title is. Uh, I think that's for, for each individual to do on their own. So I will, I'm not going to speak to that. Well, so, so gaining access to a constituent is what part of their job as a city commissioner would be, right? The charges are a result of a crime. So what we're going to focus on is what she did to commit a crime. What we've determined is what her actions were that violated Florida state statute was done as a 
as, as an individual. So that, you know, our job is to be professional, not to pay attention to any of the, uh, the peripheral noise, to pay attention to the facts, let the facts take us where they may, and, and then we'll place the charges when we see that uh, statutes have been violated. That's what we get.